Christmas Day 2, um, the sequel to Christmas Day 1. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> and the woman, Adam's the man. Let's play. Skip that introduction. Yeah, man, let's do it. Ah, uh, I'm dead already. <laughs> Are you taking the piss? For some reason, I just decided to run back and jump off the edge. I don't quite know why. I'm back, though. I'm back. Okay. Right, so the aim of the game is basically... Right, I'm turning this music off, for one. Yeah, because it, it does get slightly annoying. Yeah. And when I say slightly, I mean very... Extremely yeah. <laughs> annoying. Right. Um, right, so what we're doing... Right, okay, yeah. So the orcs... <clears throat> <clears throat> there is orcs on this, and basically they come from here, and yeah, that's the rift, isn't it? They come from the rift and try and head towards the mine, which is over here. Yep. So the aim of the game is basically to survive countless waves of orcs um, and try and stop them from getting to the tunnel. Um, we'll show you a couple of things what you can do. That, you can use the mine carts that are on the tracks here to uh, basically knock them and kill them off. Uh, and you can also put various, like tons and tons of different traps down. But we'll just show you a couple of basic ones and then uh, eventually show you some more later on. Yeah, so um, basically uh, the story is I'm the queen of. My character is the queen of the orcs. And they turned against her, some shit like that. And they want to come and kill us. And yeah. I, I came through the portal originally <coughs> and met this little faggot. Now then, and, uh, yeah. I'll just basically come here just to save a life and. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm gonna choose my traps now, and to do that, you press B at the start of each game. Now you may notice I have a few traps here. For instance, these ones, um, uh, which are a bit advanced for this level, but that's because I played this game before and these are the traps I've unlocked for. But I won't be using them now. I'll only be using the first three, which are the first three you get on the first mission. So I'll just click and put them on now. Um, see, you can see what traps Adam's using here. He's got the blunderbust, the tar traps, the arrow wall, the spike trap and the healing trinket. Are you going to take those uh, last two off? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take them off, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, basically you can use your scroll wheel to change to each of your traps um, and obviously your main weapon man is <laughs> some sort of weird staff, as is the blunderbust. Hang on mate, were you just trying to stick some um, poison dart traps down there? Pretty no, sure you don't start off, start off with them ones. <laughs> poison, no, these are po yeah poison ones you start off with. Oh dear, I've never played as a woman to be honest. So, all right. But let's get some uh, let's get some shit put down and get this hard on the way. Yep. Right. So, to you have two sort of well, I suppose with uh, you have three type of um, attacks with this gun. Uh, Three first, type of attacks. The first type is just normal shooting. The second attack is that which, if you hit an orc with that, it'll charm them and make them fight for you. And the third type of attack is holding down. And you can. Yeah, so obviously, you can see there with Adam's attacks is is just a normal gunshot, um, a grenade launcher. And do, can you charge your gun? Uh, no, I just try to do it there, but no, I can't do it, man. So right. just, just a woman that has that power. Yep, because I'm mint. Right. Anyway, we're gonna start the round now. So if you come back here, Adam, and uh, we'll press G. You'll have to press it as well. Right, yeah, and I, I know the score, mate. Oh, oh, so come back here so you get all the kills. <laughs> is that what you're saying, yeah? Yeah, basically. If you notice, these are the uh, sort of arc. Uh, heavies. Um, I'm quite surprised we've got these on the first round, actually. Yeah, I just noticed it before when I was looking at my spellbook. It said these were coming first. 
I think we've got it on the harder difficulty. Probably. Oh well. But it's uh, we like a challenge. Yep. So I'll, I'll show you the charm power here. As you can see, there he's now attacking. Um, <laughs> they're now all attacking each other. Sweet. So we can place some more traps down now. <laughs> Lol. Lol. Hey, some more guy. Oh, my grenades hit no one. Awesome. <laughs> so basically, later on throughout the game and throughout the missions, um, you face new enemies, new types of enemies, and they require you to use different strategies to take them down and stuff like that. Um, we'll also it will get a new... lot tougher. Yeah, we'll also unlock new traps as well. So, uh, for instance, if you have an enemy that can only die by a certain trap, which I, I don't think will be the case, but you see what I mean? You have to use sort of strategies to take down certain enemies. And just if you guys are wondering, um, basically when you kill an orc, there's a little number coming up next to them. That's the amount of coins that you get off them, and that's what's used to, to actually make the traps. Yeah. Um, and obviously unlock different guardians that you can get later on that will, will help you and protect you out. Now, it doesn't seem that hard at the moment, but trust me, we've got a couple of levels into this. It's only very first level, but we've played it before, and it gets a hell of a lot harder. Waves and waves of orcs, so... You'll get to see a few of them anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, what you do to unlock the um, the traps is at the end of each game, you'll unlock a certain amount of skulls. And each skull, uh, say for instance, you get full skulls. That's because you've completed uh, the game in sort of par time. Yeah. And, uh, or you've killed a certain amount of orcs. And you'll get these skulls and say for instance that there's a trap that requires six skulls you'll save up your six skulls from um, games that you've done and uh, you'll be able to get them traps some traps also require um, stuff like completing the game on the hardest difficulty uh, and that's the only way you can unlock them and then I think you have to pay the skulls required after that yeah, I think it would be helpful to point out as well, uh, you can see the traps are going there, the fire and arrows and the fire and poison poison darts. Um, they do they do need time to recharge, they're not continuous. Yeah. Um, which, if there were, you know, you'd be laughing because they'll just continuously kill people, but they do need time to recharge, so that's why it starts getting harder. Um, but you just need to strategically sort of plant different traps. The, these black ones here that we're looking down is tar, so that will slow the enemy down. Yeah. Hopefully, giving you a chance to uh, to attack them. These ones here are freezing ones, which just turns them into ice blocks. These ones fire out spikes, and these ones uh, squirt acid over them. So, I mean, for the first up. level, yeah, for the first level, you do get a nice little range of traps that you can use. Yeah. So don't be worried in case you think, "Oh, I'm a noob, I'm gonna die." You know, you should be. If you just use these type of setups, you should be fine. Yeah. To be fair, when you first showed me this game, because we got the um, we got the jewel pack from Steam, um, so you know you can you can keep one copy and send one to a friend. Um, Kieran had played on it before when he sent it over to me. To be fair, I did pretty well first time, so yeah. it's quite easy quite easy to get into. Yeah. Um, and it, it, you'll realise how how addictive this game is. <laughs> It's yeah. so addictive because you just don't want to come off it. You just want to continue and continue. Do you want to press G so we can... I've uh, pressed G, mate, and they're all coming. Oh, shit. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> Do you want to press G? Do you want to press G? You might want to charm one of them big ones. Yeah. Maybe I can get a few of them, actually. Oh, well, I. I don't think the charm lasts too long, though. I remember, uh, um, I remember playing, and I think it was like the second mission when the Earth Elementals come. Oh yeah. Um, Tunnels, I think it's called, isn't it? Yeah, and I charmed one, and it didn't really last that long. I think you can probably upgrade that charm though, because uh, also as well as buying traps, 
you can you can upgrade your weapons as well, can't you? Yeah. I know you, with a blunderbust, when you when you fire the secondary grenade, it uses what's called mana, mana, which is in the top left hand corner, that little blue bar. So that goes down. Um, it's probably the same as yours as well when you use it. And later on, you can upgrade your weapon so you don't use as much. Yeah. So effectively, I can fire more grenades at once. So and there, there we go. go. Little dance. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of mission one. Um, I think what we're going to do with these videos is do a video per mission, so we're not, you know, dragging it out and taking too long to upload the video. So. Yeah. Yeah. Too right. Um. So I think yeah. Well, I'll get, I'll, for this, I'll give you a quick look over the uh, spell book, which has traps and gear and stuff like that. So my gear is basically the things that I've already unlocked, the things that I've got sort of in my inventory, if you know what I mean. Then we have traps, which are sort of the items which I can unlock next. Um, I mean, you'll notice that I've already got a few of these, but that was from the previous game. And it'll tell you there, you know, how many skulls you need to unlock this certain item. Um, you know, the grey ones are ones that haven't been unlocked yet, so even if I had the skulls, I wouldn't be able to buy them yet because, um, you know, it's... So, well, I think that's what it means. <laughs> I think it's because, you know, I haven't unlocked them further in the game yet. But I can buy any of these traps here, like the steam trap and stuff like that. And then we have weapons, um, you'll notice that I already have the staff and there's a whole sort of ton of range weapons here. I think on my other account I used the crossbow a bit, um, which was quite good. Then we have trinkets, which are basically items which improve your skill in the game. So if, you, for instance, with this one here, with the health one, you could have this on your hotbar and if you're in low health you can press that it'll heal you it's not sort of something that changes your appearance or anything like that it's usually just sort of boosters to help you through the game I think that drinker as well um, when you're playing co-op it actually heals your your co-op player as well oh yeah yeah I'm pretty sure it does that because I've got it on, on mine as well uh, so mm. it can heal both of which is pretty cool yeah definitely um, and then at the bottom we just have vanity which is basically your costumes and here's what I was saying before about the uh, how to unlock them for instance with this one here it says you need to complete the campaign on nightmare difficulty so you know not all of them require skulls but yeah um, I think we'll move on to the next mission now it's, uh,